you, you, you. 99% of people make this common mistake in English. So, in this video, we will talk about 5 common mistakes. If you have any mistakes, you will be able to leave a lesson watch in the comments. I will go and check it. Now, if you are ready, let's get started. Never stop growing, never stop seeking the brightest star. Number one, I have visited Niagara Falls last week. This is any mistake you can find out. I have visited Niagara Falls last week. You should not add the duration of past when you use present perfect tense. That's why I visit Niagara Falls visit you have to say the sentence in simple past tense. I visited is right. It's not I have visited. That's wrong. Okay. Number two. My jeans is too short. My jeans is too short. Mm -mm. Wrong. My jeans, trousers, pants. This is not a pair. So, we plural consider plural. My jeans are too short. It's not my jeans is too short. Number three. I have been here in Delhi since three months. I have been here in Delhi since three months. In the sentence, la, preposition since is incorrect. We have to use for. Nama or kuripita or approximate time duration solumbodu. You have to use the preposition for. Since nama yapo use ponono abdina. Since January, you end the month in Delhi, since use Since 1990, the exact accurate time since use Since 1990, since use Panama. Abdila, Abdina, Munumasama, Nalumasama, Anju Varshama, so in the Madri Solombo, the Rendamani Nerama, Ipriella Solombo, you have to use the preposition for. Okay. Number four in our list is she can able to drive. She can able to drive. What is the error in this sentence? Can and able to is quite similar here. So, ninga onna able to use pannanu, abdi ilana can use pannanu. She can drive. Abdi in radhe vandhite correct ana oru sentence. Avala alla drive panna mudiyo abdi no solam bodu. She can drive da use pannanu. She can able to use panna kudal. Okay. Able to use panna bodu nama auxiliary verbs use panni solvo. I am able to, he is able to, she is able to, I am able to speak English nowadays. I can speak English nowadays. I can speak English otherwise. Can and able to use one sentence. Okay? The last and final one is, how many children you have? What is the error in this sentence? How many children you have? This is actually an interrogative. You have to use how many children do you have? There is two errors. One is the auxiliary verb use. Do you have? This is children is already plural. So you should not use S with the word. So how many children do you have? Okay. So, you are interested in grammar, you can take your online classes. That is the April 22nd batch. I will give this session complete. So, if you are interested in this session, you can contact me on the screen. If you are interested in this lesson, you can leave a comment in the comments. I will go and check it. Thank you so much for clicking this video. I will meet you soon with another interesting lesson in the next video. Till then, you take care. It's bye from Malar. See you. Bye-bye.